Hello friends. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the barn out here at St. Bernard Acres. This is Sunday, April 21st. It's pretty chilly out. <laughs> you know, we went through some 80 degree days. We went through the floods. Now we're back to colder weather. Uh, it's about 50 outside. Very little sun. Yeah, it's trying to peek through, but not doing a very good job. Today, what I want to do is build a gate for the porch. I uh, put the railing all the way around it. I want to bring uh, Rex out with me Saturday, when I come out next Saturday or next Friday. I want to bring Rex with me. I need to put a gate now on the porch so, you know, I can just open up the door, let him go out on the porch. I can't have him running around. They're too young and he has no recall whatsoever. So hang that one up. Beagles, I have learning very quickly, are stubborn, difficult to train animals. Uh, so what I'm going to do is build a gate to match the railing so it looks good. Uh, and it's very windy outside. Well, guess what? Inside the barn, it's not windy. A little chilly, but it's not windy. Chill we can work with. Somebody's out riding their four-wheeler even though it's cold and windy out there. But yeah, I'm going to try to throw something together here. It shouldn't take very long. Just a simple gate. I got hinges left over from the old shed I had. and Some of my scrap lumber here. <laughs> I could fashion me a gate, I reckon. I need to be 39 inches wide, 33 and 3 quarter inches to the top rail. So, I'm going to have an inch and a half gap at the bottom. Pretty simple what I need to do. Let me find a couple two befores and get a frame started here. I got a, if y'all remember last fall, I got a pile of, a bunch of two befores, premium, that, uh, you know, have little warps in them and dings from Lowe's for 90% off. So I'm going to be using those. I gotta figure out which is the best part of them to use. So I'm gonna go 39 inches wide. So let me cut a couple of 39 inch pieces. Wow, they're the same length. Imagine that. Now I need 33 and 3 quarters. Do some math here real quick. And I'm going to take 3 inches off of that for the top and bottom of these. So I'm at 30 and 3 quarters. And it's going to be an inch and a half off the ground. So let's make that 1 quarter. 29 29 and a quarter should give me the top rail height that I need So that'll be the frame of the gate. Thirty-two and a quarter. So 
the frame is 32 and a quarter high when I put an inch and a half space at the bottom then I'm gonna be 33 and three quarters that'll put my top rail to where it all it's the same all the way around I need it to be kind of heavy I can make a lighter weight gate but I'm gonna have dogs jumping up against it <laughs> so let me put this together and get some screws exterior screws my center remember my pieces go in like this just to keep it simple and make it match what I had so I'm gonna put one in the center I only need to put three pieces in here and I found the middle the center of 39 anybody know 19 and a half so I put my one in the middle now I've got a distance to the end of 17 and a half. Roughly 17 and a half. What's half of 17 and a half? How about eight and three quarters? So at eight and three quarters, I'm going to put a mark. That's going to be my middle, and then an inch and three quarters on each side, just so I have an idea where I'm going. So one will go here. It's going to be perfect. And what did I say, eight and three quarters? Let's do eight and three quarters. And I'm going an inch and three quarters on each side of that. So, right in the middle of a knot, of course. So I'll do one here, here, and here. And they'll be evenly spaced. So, and what I will need is 29 and an eighth. I will make 29 and an eighth heavy, strong, whatever they call it. Oh, my fingers are getting cold. Perfect. All right, now I need something underneath them because I got to get them in the middle here. So if I have three and a half inches, I need a one inch piece of wood. Well, the sun is trying to peer its head. So, what I gotta do, Bentley's a little narrow ass can get through these slats here. So I'm putting this wire, this farm fencing wire around this. Just like I did the entire deck uh, to keep him from being able to jump through these. And I've gotta cut some for this so let me get it rolled out here figure out what I'm gonna do I 
and that's going to work out pretty good actually if I just cut it I was worried about the height and it looks like that's exactly what I needed I mean I'll, I'll cut one section off and everything else I can nail into place or staple into place so let's see where I have to make cuts yeah yeah baby all right where'd my nippers go so I don't have any sharp points it happens to work out perfectly that doesn't happen very often All right, when I had St. Bernard's, I didn't have to worry about this because the St. Bernard's not gonna be able to sneak through this stuff. But these guys certainly can. And I got these little half inch cable staples that will work. This will do a good job keeping this down. that up against there and that'll open in that's what I needed if only it wasn't like this Jeez, can't depend on loads for anything but you know what I think this is going to work for what it is, I think it'll work just fine. You know what? It ain't pretty, but it'll work. That's tight enough. I just need a little clasp on here. But considering how everything is old 4 by 4s I put up here, it'll do the job. It'll keep the puppies on the porch. And that's all I was worried about. So, yeah. I can live with this. Yeah, I can live with that. That'll keep the dogs in.
That's all I was worried about. All right. Guess I'm done with that project. I got to get an eye hook and a, to uh, latch. I'm not, not going to get a lock or anything for it. I just need something to keep it from blowing open. I got it tight enough. I made it a little oversized so it would squeeze in there and help out a bit. But I'll put a little, little hook and eye on it. And I can let the dogs out anytime I want. Appreciate y'all watching. Remember to like, share, comment, do all those kind of things. Help me get this channel going again. I let it get to where it's kind of dead because things were happening on it I wasn't real happy with and I needed to wash out a bunch of stuff and figure out what direction I wanted to go. But now we're going to get her rolling again. But there's a gate to keep the dogs in anyway. This is Joe out here at the cabinet, St. Bernard Acres. I'm out.